This building behind me has been open for 174 years and every room inside is haunted. Carry House Hotel is also known as the Jewel of Placerville. The Carry House's interior is all antique and original, and that includes an 1876 checkering square grand piano with its original strings and a couple of beautiful stained glass windows that have been there for roughly around 150 years. This hotel also holds the second oldest elevator in the country, and that was built in 1926, and it still runs. The original Carry House Hotel in Placerville was built during the Gold Rush in 1847. Unfortunately, the first time this place was made from wood and had burnt down in 1849. They had decided to rebuild in 1856, and this time they had used brick exterior and metal shutters, and this was virtually fireproof. This hotel had a little over 77 rooms and was renowned for having hot and cold running water. There have been many famous people who have stayed there at the hotel, including John Studebaker, Ulysses S. Grant, Mark Twain, Elvis Presley, and many more. During the 1900s, in the middle of fixing the floor, they had come across a cache of gold. At the time, that gold was worth $600, and they had decided to use that money to build a fourth floor, making this building what it is today, the historic Carry House Hotel in Placerville, California. The historic Cary House has a large amount of history, but it also has its fair share of haunted history as well. And a lot of people even claim that there are specific spirits that still linger here. You can ask anyone in this town, and they will all tell you that the Cary House is one of the most haunted buildings around. This entire hotel is said to be haunted by children who have stayed there, other long-term guests, even ladies of the night who have been invited in to stay. One of the stories that draws everyone's attention to the hotel is of a man named Stanley Levine. He was a desk clerk there at the hotel who was somewhat of a womanizer. He would be friendly with all of the guests, particularly the women, until one day when things took a turn. The story goes that he was going upstairs to the fourth floor when he was stabbed in the back by the husband of one of the women he made advances to. His murder was particularly brutal, and his outfit is even still on display there right at the front desk. A lot of the people who work at the hotel or even visit there still claim to see him around, almost as if he's still checking up on the guests or doing his job there in the building. Stanley isn't the only spirit that is known to wander the halls. There's also stories of a man named Arnold Wiederman who stayed there with his family in the early 1900s. Unfortunately, he died during one of the big flu epidemics, and it is said that he still stays in his room. Some guests have reported seeing a tall man with a beard who stands at the edge of their bed. Strangely enough, none of them say that he's very scary, actually. He seems a bit friendly. Like Santa Claus. <laughs> That's going in. That's going in. Like Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> That's going in. Even though his wife didn't pass away in the hotel, it is said that she may be there too, because there's a woman that walks around wearing a long blue dress right in the room where he took his final breath. There are so many spirits here, but one last notable story is of a gambler. His story can be seen as kind of sad, really. There used to be a room in this hotel where a lot of guests would stay and they would play cards or actually bet and gamble with each other. However, one night actually, a man across the table had accused him of 
cheating and told him, if you do that again, I'm going to kill you. This man stood up and drew his pistol and shot the gambler in the back just as he was trying to leave, killing him. It is said that nearly every room in this hotel is haunted. Specifically, the second and fourth floors have the most activity. To add on to this, rooms 205, 408, and 410 have the most reports of paranormal activity. Guess which rooms we got? All three. 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 So tonight our goal is to come in contact with any of the spirits that still remain here and possibly even talk to some of the more notable ones. Without further ado, we are super excited for this one, so let's get right into it. All right guys, tonight we are starting in room 408. We have three rooms here tonight to investigate, and those rooms are 408, 410, and 205. Now we have two on floor four, and we have one room on floor two. Supposedly in this room, people have seen an apparition at the end of the bed, also walking through the hallway and sitting on this couch. As for the other room on the same floor, pretty much the same things kind of happen. They hear more noises than have seen anybody in that room. Regardless, a lot of the stories that have been told about this place, floor four is the most active. Also, as you guys know, there was a guy who did get stabbed to death on the stairs between floor three and floor four. So we're gonna get started with our investigation here in 408. Okay, now if there is anybody here in this room, or if there is anybody who can hear us, maybe around on the outside of this room in the hallway, you're welcome to come in and hopefully we can have a conversation with you. I'd like to introduce all four of us. My name is Ryan. My name is Nick. My name is Wyatt. My name is River. And we are here to see if we can have a conversation with anybody. Maybe get a little bit of history on why you are here. Now we did bring these objects that are specially made to help you communicate with us a little bit better. This will help you show yourself in a couple of different ways. Now the first object that I'm going to grab is this object right here. This object will show us by you holding on to this antenna, this metal rod, and it'll start to buzz and it'll light up as well. I'm going to set it here in this hallway because earlier when we were setting up we heard what sounded like footsteps creaking through this hallway. Okay, I'm going to turn it on and demonstrate for you. Now all you have to do is walk. You can, you can just walk through it if you want. And if you get close to the antenna, it'll do that, okay? It'll light up and it'll buzz. Or you can just reach down, hold on to it just like that. We also have these two objects that pretty much do the same thing. They just light up more colors, okay? This will detect how much power, how much energy you're able to manifest or how much you have already. Or if you don't have enough energy, we have things that can help you gather enough energy. Okay? Whoa! Holy shit. Whoa, that was three. Where was that? That way. That was that way? That way. I think that was either in the closet or in the bathroom. That's where we kept hearing those noises in that bathroom. So how to make these ones go off is you can come and hold on to my arm if you'd like. Whoa, 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 whoa. There it is. Just like that. There it is. Just like that. There's an orb that just left the REM pod. No, no shit. Way. And it just stopped. You positive. Yep, 100%. No glare? Nope. Hi. You're in the hallway, huh? I'm gonna set this down over in this general area, right here on this table. I'm gonna come hang out with you over here, okay? We may look different to you, I understand that, but I assure you, we are not here to harm you in any way, upset you, or anything like that. Did you hear that? You did? Yeah. 
As we mentioned earlier, we hear a lot of noises here, and as you know, the floors are really creaky and loud. Could you just walk around for us? Did somebody just knock on the door? Knock on the door? I didn't hear anyone walk. Yeah, that was loud. I heard that. What is That's that not me. I'm standing still. Again. It's this way. It is. Knock back, right? I'm going to knock back. That's so close. Is somebody running? Please check in the hallway to make sure nobody's running down that hallway. I just want to make sure. That's They're all. Definitely not. No? No. Do you hear that? It's you hear that? Yeah. Nobody's in the hallway right now. Do you right hear now. it out there? Nope. And guys, we're on the fourth floor. Yeah, we're on the top. Nobody can be above us. Hmm. You know what? Actually, the only room that's next to us is our next room. Is our room. Legit our room. Yeah, that room's completely empty right now, and that's the other side of this wall. Is that a growl? Yeah. Dude, that was right in my ear. Ema, Ema. That one? No, not that one. Ooh. Whoa, the middle one did not go off at all. Did you just pass through us to go to the hall? Did you just pass through us to go to the hall? Is that what you did? Did you just pass through me to get to the hall by Ryan? Did you hear that next time? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Bro, look at my chills, look. It's like something literally just passed right next to me. That's what I Do you see him? Do you hear that? Do you hear that? Hi. Can you maybe say something? Is that in the closet? Yeah, that was right in the closet. I am so chilled up, bro. I am so chilled up. Take Look at my one. arm, dude. I am so freaking cold right now. Take this one in. This is so weird. Check out the closet. Okay, is there anybody in here? I'm gonna set this right here. If you can please face to face with me. Speak to me. Oh, did you see it? White, yep. white, white. It's Look. Still going. Look at it. Look at it. Ryan, there was a knock when you heard when you said that. It's hitting orange. Whoa, dude. Nyx isn't going off out here. At all. Nothing. Hi. When My you... name is Ryan. Nice to meet you. We have a couple of other objects that I'd like to use. If you can please stick with us and continue to speak with us. We have stuff that you can use your words through. And we have something where you can tell us yes or no. Maybe if we were to like ask you a question. Was that in the building? I don't know. Oh, oh right there. Right by you? Did you just leave the closet? They just left the closet, dude. Or did you go in the bedroom? Uh, move those blankets and pillows just to show real quick. Yeah. You're showing nothing's up there to tamper with it? Was that what you were doing? Yep. Okay. Good, I got it. Good. Hey, if you're a man or a woman, can you please give us a sign? That was a knock, wasn't it? Or did you guys move? I didn't move. We didn't move. I heard it out here, though. a clean knock on the wall. That sounded like a wall knock. Mm -hmm. If this is a, a female, can you please come in here and light this object here on the shelf? Please? I'll step back. If it's a male, touch this one on the floor next to me. Good one. Please use your energy. Try it. There it is. Female. Male. Female and male. This is their room. Wait. This yeah. is this is this the is their room. room. The wedding room, the romance room. Yep. There's literally a photo of a couple. Are we correct? Is this you two? They lived here. I have the name of a family. Please let me know if this is you. 
A long time ago, there was a businessman who stayed here with his wife and kid named Arnold Wiederman. Is Arnold and his wife here? Make a knocker, touch one of the devices. That was right behind me. <laughs> that was right behind me in this closet. Arnold, are you here? I'm not moving. I'm not doing anything. Really? I, I heard faint knocks. <laughs> this is so cool. Hi. Arnold do you need me to move? Ooh, did you just hear me? I said, do you need me to move? As soon as I moved, that went off and then that went off too. Oh, good. Here. Uh. Did you just... Guys, this is awesome. This is really cool. Thank you so much. We really appreciate you giving us this time right now. Dude, I'm starting to get, like, anxiety, but, like, that wasn't me. That was straight running. Right no, it wasn't. Yeah, right. Here. Running? That was what that was. Are you okay with us being here? You seem like it. You seem like you have a lot of energy. Hopefully this isn't too much of an overload for you. We just kind of wanted to start a little bit light for you so you don't have to drain all your energy so quick. But if you'd like, I can bring out this object that you can speak and you can use your words. Did you not just hear that? It sounded like someone was literally right here, right to the left of me. Mm -hmm. And I heard a, lot, a louder knock after you turned. That was really weird. That was literally like, I legit heard and felt someone just sitting right here. Well, I believe you. When I was standing right there in the doorway of the closet, I could feel somebody behind me. And, and me and Wyatt kept hearing somebody like almost as if they were trying to get through. And then as soon as I said, I'm sorry, I feel like I'm in your way, I move, the EMF meter goes off, and then the REM pod goes off. And then we start hearing noise in the hallway towards the room. Did we leave that EMF in the closet? Yeah. Oh. Have you been hearing it? I think. Dude, EMF's in the closet, isn't it? It's in there. I haven't heard it yet. Mine's on the... It's ticking. No way. That's going to orange again. It's ticking? I haven't heard it at all. Why? Well, I... goes off. It's ticking. <laughs> I really can't hear it. Dude, I'm getting, like, such a good feeling here. Do you like talking to us? It seems like you do because we asked you a couple of things already and you're following through with some answers and you're showing us that you're here. So I feel like it's okay for us to maybe move on and, and grab another object so that you can hopefully Whoa. speak. Was that a loud slam? That was running, dude. That was clear, clear running. Wait, was that in here though? I have no idea where that was. That was clear. That was so clear. Anyone? Nobody. No one? Nobody. Oh my god. Yeah. That was so clear. I was going to tell you what. We're on the fourth floor. Okay? Nobody can run above us. I, you cannot hear anybody run below you. Come on. That was clear today. That was 100% clear today. Okay. This box in my hand right here. If you can see me, this is what will let you talk. It might be hard to figure out, but you can choose a word. Pick a word to say. That's all you gotta do. Use the energy out of all of our devices here. I have energy, and you're able to use it. Feel free. You. Dude, we're not afraid. Do you mind that we're in here with you? I just hella got that feeling of like someone walking up on you. Mm -hmm. Just coming right at me down the hallway. Walking too. 
Do you like us to move on or, or what's going on? Are you trying to focus on talking to us? I'm upset. What are you upset about? Did we do something wrong? Or are you upset that maybe you got reminded that you passed away? That could be it. We're sorry, but unfortunately somebody has to tell you and somebody has to talk to you. And we're here to talk to you. We're here to do all of that. We want to know your name, if you can give us your name. We want to know if you'd like to move on, because we can try and help you do that. Was that a voice? Yeah, what the f we can try and help you do that. Was that a voice? Yeah, what the f was that? Really faint. Hear us. Hear us. us. No way. Right after. No way. Us. Are us. you kidding me? There is two. Multiple. Yes, there is there a. There is two. We hear you. It is hard for us to hear your words if you're trying to talk directly to us. We don't know why. What's up? You heard that? Mm -hmm. We hear you. What would you like us to know? Surprise. Surprise. Dude, what is going on right now? That was really quick. What is going that was on so right quick. now? We do get excited. Did you just hear that? You did? I told sound you. sound like a step. Like I, the dude, floor creaking. They're here. They're right here. Do you like that we're talking to you right now? Would you like to keep talking more? Whoa, I felt yeah. that. Yeah. Is it okay if we continue to talk to you? What is that? Participate. 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 Dude, this is relevant. Yeah. This is super, super relevant. Uh -huh. Like every question we're asking, it's it's almost to the T. Yeah. You haven't given us a name yet. Everything you've chosen. A lot. A lot. So far, you've been participating. We like the woman's name, if that's okay. We understand you're here as well, the husband. We're acknowledging you. We're not we're not forgetting about you. But maybe give us the woman's name. Please. I'm getting really tired. Like crazily tired just out of nowhere. You saw me. We saw you? Did we see you? Did you try to show yourself to us and we just didn't realize that you were there? Please, if you could, we're just asking for your name. We just want to know who you are. That way we can address you by your name and actually have a good conversation with you. You also haven't been making any of these objects go off. Maybe you can make them activate. Maybe you can use some of the power that you're using to speak to us and continue to show us that you're here through these objects. Is that okay? Can you maybe show us that you're in the closet again or walk in there so that we know that you get you're... out of here? Okay. Never mind. Oh, it just ticked in the closet. Right when it said that? Yeah. Said get out of here. Okay. Right, right when it ticked. Let's respect that. We just want to say thank Margaret. you. Margaret. Mar 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 Margaret. Thank you. Margaret. Thank you, Margaret. Thank We're very sorry if okay, we wait, overstayed our dude, welcome. I think the husband told us to, to get, get out. out of here. That's <laughs> what I, I literally was just going to say. I think his wife is trying to talk to us right now. That actually makes perfect sense. Dude, yeah. and that is such like an older name. Like back in the day, a lot of women's names were Margaret. Yeah. That is insane. That's why the responses kind of jump around. It's probably the husband and wife both both speaking to us. Thank you so much, Margaret. And if it is the husband that wants us to leave, we will and we won't disrespect you. We will have to come back, though. That was right next to me. That was a step. Right next to you. Right that was next a to me. step. That was so close. That was a step. That was like a hard step, like forward at someone. Yes, I'm here. Yes, I'm here. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> okay. Dude, I were you feel... filming that way? Yep. Okay, no so way. I felt comfortable earlier. 
but I feel like we may have overstayed our welcome a little bit. With so the I husband, think, yeah. Dude, I got the chill so bad, bro. I know, dude. I literally have the chill so bad. Ryan, come over here and tell me how that hallway feels now. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna step in brother. here. Just say further? Okay. Whoever he is, he's very defensive is what it feels like. I'm going. I feel someone right in that hallway. Hi. Can you maybe appear in this mirror right next to me? No way. Charles. <gasps> Charles. Holy Hi. crap. Hi, Charles. <laughs> oh my god. Charles, this is really cool. Henry. Charles, Charles Henry. Henry. Charles Henry? Maybe there's other people in here now. Maybe there's other people in here now. How many people are in here besides us? Can you give us a number? Wait, were you just hearing what I was just uh, hearing? Yes, yeah. What was that, like two or three knocks? I have no idea. I just want to say thank you. And if you do still want us to leave, we can do that. We gotta make our way to the next room anyways. Holy crap. Was that knocking? Dude, that was insane. Did me and River just hear you over? I Inside. <gasps> what did that say? Wait, what? The EMF went full and it says inside. Yeah. How many people are here? Other than us. That was right behind me. <laughs> Again. Lighter. I want to say this real quick. We're going to move on to room 410. Any of you are welcome, okay? You're welcome to follow us over there. We're just trying to give anybody else a chance here tonight, okay? Your email? My email, yeah. So I take it you acknowledged what I just said. <laughs> Thank you. And I just want to say, it's okay to move on to the light if you do not want to be here anymore. I understand that this used to be your home. Maybe you like it here. And that's okay to stay too if you're not ready to let go. But if you'd like to leave, you have so many opportunities anywhere that there's a doorway out. You take that. Take that opportunity and move on, please. <laughs> Thank you. We're going to move on. Okay, guys. We're going to make our way to room 410. So let's go. Holy shit. I just had a thought. Charles Henry. Nick, you said, who is Charles Henry? So, around 1860, sometime after a building was built in the same spot of the tree. The hanging tree. Oh, yeah, around that okay. time when they constructed a building there, the building passed through many hands, but it was finally passed onto him. It was passed into the hands of a man named Charles Henry, and he owned that building for a very long time, in the exact spot where that tree stood, where many people were hanged. There's a well-known story of a spirit of a man who was a wagon operator in the very early 1800s who lived in that room, and his wife's name was Margaret. Who lived in the room that we were just in? Uh, room 205, unfortunately. 205? Around. We have that one. Wait, we have 205. I'm pretty sure it was 205, yes. We went down there earlier, and we, we said hi, and they probably followed us up into our room. Oh, yeah. 408. We always say hi when we walk in. Yeah. Literally. Okay. Now we are here in room 410. We are just over next door. I don't know if Margaret came along or even Charles Henry. I don't know if you came along either, but whoever is in here, I'm going to do a quick introduction again. My name is Ryan. My name is Nick. My name is White. My name is River. 
Now, if you can please give us a sign that maybe some of you had decided to follow us over to this room. Or if there's somebody new here, maybe we could gather a little bit of information from you as well. And hopefully we can continue our conversation with maybe Margaret. We'd like to get to know you a little bit more. I'm going to set these books here on the ground. And we're going to try another object that we have. This one's different, and I'll explain how it works. All you have to do is go on one of these sides. This side is red for no, if you'd like to answer a question with a no. And this side is green, if you'd like to say yes to something we ask. You could stand on one of those sides, and you can just show us that you're here. Now, can you please show us what side you're on? We'd like to know if Margaret had followed us. Margaret! Margaret, you're here. This is you, correct? Thank you for following us back here. Back there. Back there. Should I grab the EMF meter and put it here so it might be easier? I'd, I'd say so, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Okay, I walked on that side. I didn't walk on that side. You standing right here? Maybe you can... Show us that you can come walk over on this side, the red side. Come over here to this object, just like whoever was holding on to it over there on the shelf. Ooh. Whoa. Ooh. Can you Thank please you. hold on to that now? You just went on that side. We heard you step. That was cool. It, it, I swear to God, it just ticked. It, it, it did, it did, it did. I caught it, I caught it, I caught it. Thank you so much for doing that. Margaret. Just want to say thank you. I feel like you're really strong. Please go over to the green side. If you need, there's an object in River's hand. You can hold on to that. Take the energy from it, if you can. Please make this pyramid go off again. Just like you did, walk right next to it. And if you can make the green side go off. <laughs> thank you! No thank way. You. Since you just <laughs> made that side go off, you're standing right there. Look Can you quite please, far away. Yeah. Please touch the box that's in my hand. You did that with the other one. Can you do that with this one? Please come closer to what's in my hand. You can use all the energy from the batteries and devices you would like. Maybe they're sitting there next to the river. They can get both sides of the pyramid. But that would be the best there. way to move around. Mm -hmm. I got two bars now, too. No. Really? I was just at a full three. I just want to tell you, we're going to split up here soon. Two of us stay in here with you, and two of us are going down to Margaret's husband's room, okay? Margaret, you can either stay here with River and Nick, or you can follow Wyatt and I down into room 205. Don't worry, because we're not going to be split up for too long. Maybe choose two of us to follow, or you could stay here like I said. But we'll all join back together before the end of the night, okay? Please give us a sign on this pyramid that that is okay. Make it green. Please. Right behind that camera over there. Step. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Thank no you. way, bro. That's awesome. That is really cool. Cool. If this is Margaret or somebody else that we're speaking to right now, we're gonna go and split up. And uh, good luck to you guys. Dude, this is awesome. I have a new device that I want to bring out to try to talk to you better. Was that in here? Already a knock, I'm pretty sure, yeah. I have a new device that I want to bring out to try to talk to you better. 
Was that's that in you? already a knock, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Is that you? That's you. Please walk on this red side. We'd really appreciate it. We're just trying to figure out if this is you here. If you would like, you can use your words too. If you think of a word or maybe a short phrase. You can use any word in this device right here. You can use the energy out of my camera or any other device that you can possibly reach. We'd like to properly introduce us too. My name is Ryan. My name is Wyatt. Now if there is anybody in here, Give us a sign. Thank you, I hear you right there in the kitchen. I have this EMF meter, this object. I'm gonna set it right here. If you can, can you please come sit in this chair? Please walk over here. We hear you, you're in the kitchen, we know. Oh, oh. okay, thank you. Oh. Thank you so much. I'd like to try a different method here. I don't know if you are new. We don't know. We're trying to find this out right now. This different method is basically you showing us another way that you're here. Now I'm going to set a flashlight down in this room over here. And if you can, please turn it on. Oh! Thank you. Thank you. Is there multiple people in here with us? Us. Help us! Help us! Wow! Listen, okay. okay, we'd love to help you, and we've helped people like you out before. Basically what we're... They're right here, dude. Two, three... You are right here. They're right here. Thank you so much. Did you just hear that voice? Thank you so much. Yeah, huh? Yeah. Dude, chills. Dude, straight up. Chills. You're here with us, aren't you? This was my home. This was your home. That's great to hear. We hope you don't mind that we're sitting in here. Is that okay with you? Okay, I set this flashlight on that dresser. Now what I want you to do, please, is turn it on for us. Go to that dresser. Whoa, super blurry. Are you standing here? Please turn that flashlight on. Please. We have helped people like you before. And what we can do is when we do leave this building, you can follow behind us. And when we do open up these doors, the front doors, you can leave out those front doors. And basically that's going to be your door, your gate out of here. But you have to picture a light behind this door. And when you do see this bright light, you're going to have to walk through this door into the light and you will be free. It's worked, I promise. It has worked. Was that, okay, what? Agree. Did you just hear the noise and then that go? See. Uh -huh. Yeah. See. 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 What are we seeing? Oh. See, they see the light. See, you see it. Is that, is that, and, am I wrong? And they agreed, you, you offered that, so they agreed to your offer. If I'm right, can you make this go green again, please? Yo, holy oh, shit. Thank you. Dude, it's going off like crazy. It is going off like crazy. Oh my God. Look, we are not close to it at all. Not moving. That's someone stepping multiple times. Thank you. Okay, maybe you'd feel better if we sat in here. Is this okay? Can you communicate with us by turning on that flashlight? I know you're strong, I know it. They are trying. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. Please, use everything. My hands are here. Please continue to do that. Use our energy. Use what we have in these objects. This camera? Please turn on that flashlight. You can do it. I'm trying to channel all of my energy to you. I'm trying to give you everything I have right now. You can... Thank you! Oh, and it's off. <laughs> you got that? Thank you. Did I give you the energy? Did that work? Did I just give you energy out of my body? I feel like I just did. <gasps> that was awesome. Oh, it's never gone on God, and on. Dude. 
Oh my god, this is great. I love what we do, Wyatt. I love this so much. Thank you. Please come over to this other side here and stand right in front of this blinking object. I want you to light it up red, please. Just red. I used to live here. That's twice. Twice, yeah. Wait, earlier the device said, this is my home. Yeah, this was my home. Oh, it right was now. my home. You know you used to live here, and this was your home. You don't have to stay here forever. We know it might have been a great place for you. But you can finally move on and be with the people you love and your friends. And we're going to help you do that. <sighs> Thank you so much. Whoever is sitting right here next to us. We really, really appreciate it. You really like the sound of that every time we bring it up, don't you? That was right there. Right in there. Did that take a lot of energy out of you to turn that on? I don't know if you have the power. Maybe you can try it again. Told you. I don't know if you have the power. Maybe you can try it again. Told you. Yes. Thank you. I think you have a lot of power right now. This room is a, it's giving me the, the heebie-jeebies. Dude, yeah, my, it, both of my arms are... This room feels totally different. What do you feel? Negative? I don't know if I would call it negative, just that time. I just feel something strong. Like nervous. You know yeah. I mean? Yeah. Gives me the feeling that I don't know, and I don't know if I want to know who we are messing with. Right, yeah, like almost you don't. Don't really want to know what's going on. Should we be scared of you? All of us. You stay right there. I'm gonna get it. Oh, damn it. We want to know if we should not be in here with you. We gotta go a little faster. I'm at 50 minutes recorded. Well, we had that. Power on. In total, yeah. All those and stuff. <gasps> so we shouldn't be in here with you. Okay. I wanted to talk to you through this object. Would you maybe give us a chance to talk to you through this object if you light it up and keep it lit? Just keep it lit. You can use some of your words. I'm pretty sure they want us to go, dude. I don't let's, even know. Forget. Let's do this. Let's back up here to the side and uh, try the obvious in the doorway there. Okay. Is this better? You have it lit, but you can light it brighter. I know you can. Someone walking away? It just sounded like someone was walking. Yeah. Or stepped over it. Did you just step over that device? Ooh. Or maybe they were just walking around. Thank you. Is there anything we can do to help you? Thank you so much. Leave me alone. Oh. Who is this? Who wants us to leave him alone? Do you have a name? Because if you want us to leave, you have to give us your name first. My phone just gave me a notification. It's at 10%. Yeah, my battery's dying, dude. It's very close. Yeah. Paul. Paul. I just asked for a name and it said Paul. Yeah. you get it? Yep. So you will give us a chance. Okay, this object here in my hand. You can use your words. Thank you. I'm gonna set it right here. Speak to us, please. Use your energy. Talk slow. Focus on speaking through this object. We just want to say thank you guys so much. Like I said, if you want to leave, if you want to be free, are you here with us right now? Just follow us downstairs and we can take care of that for you. I don't know what that's at. Yeah. Speak clear, please. I've got a question for you. Do you know who Margaret is? One more time, please, before we leave. Set off any device that we have. It's not just me here. It's not just me here? Oh my god! Yes, yes, we know, we know. Thank you. We totally know that it's not just you. Whoever needs help, whoever, anyone here, we are more than happy to help every single one of you. They're not here. They're not here. It's her room. It's her room. I think is what it just said. They're not here, it's her room. So who is this then? 
please, can you set off this green side of the pyramid? Just one more time, please. I'm gonna film this. Thank you! I, I don't know if I caught that. Gosh dang it, I don't know if I caught that. My heard, it heard the sound though. It, yeah, it does play sound. Thank you so much. I'm assuming Margaret is up with the two other guys right now. Well, I just want to say thank you. I'm losing my balance no matter how I sit. It feels off yeah, totally. in here. Just want to say thank you for showing us that you're here through the light over there and telling us that Margaret is not here. I don't really know exactly what to say to you because when Wyatt and I are in here, we don't feel right, and I apologize if that upsets you in a way, but I feel like you don't really want us in here. So at this moment, I feel like maybe the right decision is to leave this room. We're gonna leave, and we're gonna walk out of here, and we're gonna show you the door we mentioned. Soon as we open that door, the light you said you saw earlier, it's right out there right out the double doors. All you have to do is just follow right behind us. You are not allowed to follow us home or past that point. Your goal from now on is to only follow us to go to the light. Is that okay with you? Do you not mind if we leave for a moment? And this is one of the last questions. Just hit the green side if that's okay with you. Thank you! I caught, I caught 100% you. Caught that. Thank you so much. I hope this camera can see that I'm not- I know. Like, I'm, I'm gonna show this camera right here. Okay, I'm here, right? This is how you know it's me, okay? I'm pointing down on my feet. Okay, look how far it is, watch. That's me. All right, I think that's it. Let's go meet up with them and, mm. dude, this was great. So crazy, dude. So good. Yo, what's the verdict? Everything's all good up here. We're pretty much done. We got some great activity. Are you guys ready to meet up? Was Margaret up there? Yes, we have so much to fill you in about. We <laughs> have a very Bro. large amount of spirits who want to leave. Guys, put me on speaker. You said you guys have a lot of stuff going on up there? Alright, so... Yes, we spoke to Margaret, and we spoke to... God, God, like, five other people. And all of them told us... Please help us. Please help us. There's multiple here. We used to live here. And every time we asked if they want to leave, they would set the green side off, and they would let us know of that. So get this. For one thing, I'm going to tell you this. We do not feel safe in this room. It's not a negative energy. It feels like something bad happened here. Okay. Dude, our our pyramid just went green. They agreed. Dude, they're agreeing with you. Bro, okay, listen to this. We turned on the, the obelisk. Only two things came out of it. And one of it, we asked if Margaret was in here. And they said, they aren't here. Whoa. Uh, this is her room. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Okay, let's meet up and let's figure out how we're going to help these spirits. Good idea. We'll meet you up there. All right. Perfect. See you in a minute. Okay. Uh, yeah, guys. So whatever you guys told us through the phone and whatever we told you, that's what happened. It was insane, guys, and I still have the chills. But whoever was in there at that time wasn't Margaret. We got all these names and they asked for help. So I think we need to help them. Okay. I explained to them how we're gonna do it. What are you explaining? Well, I basically just told them to follow us out the front as soon as we're done here. Okay. Picture a big light behind the door as soon as we open it. And as soon as they can, go right through and they're free. They also we said, I see. Yeah. After we mentioned Right after I said that. No shit. Yeah, after no we shit. Mentioned the light. No shit. And then they lit up the pyramid right after. Okay. I just want to say a huge thank you. Yeah, thank you. We appreciate thank it. Thank you for giving us everything that we wanted. And now it's time to return the favor. You answered a lot of our questions, and you let us speak to you, and you interacted with our devices, and that definitely shows you trust us. So we want to return the favor, just like Ryan said. Now what I want you to do is I want you to follow behind us out the front door, and I want you to use us as a guide to be free, to no longer be stuck here if you are stuck here. After we leave these front doors though, you're not allowed to follow us home. This is only so you can pass through into the light, the bright light that I told you earlier about. You just pass right through and you are free, free to go. 
So I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. We'll see you next week. Peace. Ew. <laughs>